Dear students, please note down. The notes of this video lecture are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in today's lecture, we will discuss two important topics for BSc first year, second semester students. First topic is autonomic nervous system. It may be named sympathetic nervous system or it is stomatogastric nervous system. And the second important topic in today we will cover that is endocrine system or this endocrine system lies just behind the brain. So it produces a complex. All these glands collectively constitute a complex which is named retrocerebral complex. Means today we will discuss autonomic nervous system, sympathetic nervous system and endocrine nervous system or it is retrocerebral complex. In case of cockroach, in case of periplaneta. First of all, we will discuss autonomic nervous system, sympathetic nervous system that consists of following ganglia. First one is, this one is that lies in above the brain in front of this brain and this ganglion is frontal ganglion this frontal ganglion gives nerves to anterior region this one is frontal nerve it innervates it gives supply to pharynx to labrum clypeus anterior parts of mouth dear students this frontal ganglion remains connected with this occipital or it is hypocerebral ganglion by a thick stout recurrent nerve as well as this frontal ganglion remains connected with this brain by a pair of thick frontal connective nerves the second ganglion which lies behind the brain just below the brain so it is hypocerebral ganglion or it may be named occipital ganglion. This ganglion gives a pair of occipital nerves to these endocrine glands and these are corpus cardiaca. Third ganglion that lies on crop region. Elementary canal. So it may be named visceral ganglion or ingluvial ganglion. This ganglion it gives a pair of nerves to crop region, elementary canal, and it's one nerve that goes to another ganglion that is proventricular ganglion. These are a pair of small ganglia which lie in this gizzard region, proventriculus region, one dorsally and second ventrally. It means in case of autonomic nervous system, sympathetic nervous system, four types of ganglia. One is frontal ganglia that lies in front of brain and second ganglion which lies below the brain. This one is hypocerebral or occipital and third ganglion that lies on crop region. This one is visceral or ingluvial and the fourth ganglion which are a pair of small ganglia present on gizzard or proventriculus region. So these are named proventricular ganglia. In second topic, which is another important topic. This one is endocrine system, hormonal system. Dear students, this system produces a complex just behind the brain. So it is named very important topic that is retrocerebral complex. Retrocerebral name indicates just behind the brain a complex develops and the complex of these endocrines so it is named retrocerebral endocrine system that consists of numerous unicellular secretory glands these are neurosecretory cells or these are intercerebral gland cells these cells are present in brain and these neurosecretory or intracerebral gla gland cells secrete the brain hormone no down these neurosecretory cells which are independent 
narrow cells and these cells secrete a growth hormone that growth hormone controls the functioning of prothoracic glands these glands these endocrine glands which are elongated rod shaped structure which lie just behind the brain these are named corpus cardiacum or corpus cardiaca and these endocrine glands corpus cardiaca we secrete another important hormone that is growth hormone that controls the metabolism growth of developing cockroach a pair of small rounded endocrine glands lie below the corpus cardiaca these small knob like small rounded glands are corpora alata or corpus alata very important role of these glands corpora alata as in case of nymph in case of juvenile forms these corpora alata produce a juvenile hormone that is neotenin and that juvenile hormone controls that maintains the characters of nymph it means the neotenin hormone the juvenile hormone checks the development appearance of characters of adults but not down another important function of these corpus alata in adult cockroach in adult cockroach these glands again become active and they start to produce another hormone that is gonadotrophic hormone that gh hormone gonadotrophin hormone that controls the development of reproductive organs as well as the functioning of sex organs corpora alata having two important roles in juvenile forms they maintain the characters of nymph and this juvenile hormone neotenin hormone which prevents the appearance of characters of adults but not down in adults these glands again become functional and they start to give rise another functional hormone that is gonadotrophin hormone and that gonadotrophic hormone controls the functioning and development of reproductive organs another a pair of irregular glands and these irregularly arranged brass glands are prothoracic glands these prothoracic glands which secrete ecdiocene hormone a malting hormone that controls the malting metamorphosis of cockroach it means after metamorphosis these are the only endocrine glands all competitive exam students please note down these are the endocrine glands which degenerate after metamorphosis after molting the role is over this is all about two important topics one is autonomic sympathetic nervous system and that system consists of following ganglia one is frontal ganglia that lies in front of brain just above the brain and that gives a frontal nerve to anterior parts of mouth this frontal ganglion remains connected with this second ganglion it is hypocerebral occipital by a thick stout recurrent nerve and this occipital hypocerebral ganglion remains connected with this third ganglion it is inguinal or visceral that lies on crop region and this inguinal or visceral ganglion it gives a pair of inguinal nerves to alimentary canal and its one nerve goes to gizzard here in this gizzard a pair of small proventricular ganglia are present one lies dorsally and another ventrally in case of endocrine system that collectively constitute a complex just behind the brain so it is named retrocerebral complex 
एंड दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट नर्व सेल्स विच आर न्यूरो सिक्रेटरी सेल्स और इंटरसेरिब्रल ग्लैंड सेल्स एंड दीज ग्लैंड सेल्स प्रोड्यूस ब्रेन हार्मोन टू कंट्रोल द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ प्रोथोरेसिक ग्लैंड No doubt, these small rod-shaped glands, these are corpus cardiaca, which produce the growth hormone. And these very important glands, these are corpora alata, which secrete two types of hormones in nymph in juvenile forms. They produce neotenin to control to control the appearance of characters of nymph. retains the characters of nymph in juvenile form means the neotenin hormone prevents the development of characters of adults but in adult forms these glands again become functional and produce gonadotropin hormone to control the functioning and development of reproductive organs and these proth prothoracic glands which are irregular highly branched and these a pair of glands which control malting ecdiasis metamorphosis so they secrete ecdiosin hormone and these are the only glands which degenerate after metamorphosis this is all about sympathetic nervous system and endocrine system of cockroach peri planeta america and in this chapter Tomorrow we will discuss another important topic that is reproductive system of male cockroach and female cockroach thank you